What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. And man, oh man, was it upset, upset Saturday or what, man? It ain't even college football season, but we already had an upset Saturday before the college football season, man. So, um, this, this right here was shocking, bro. But I think it's because people were sleeping on the Canadian team. And a lot of it had to do with because of Andre DeGrasse. He's been struggling this year because I think he had to overcome COVID and a couple of other things that were going on this year. Um, and he just never really got a chance to get into really full shape um, going into this season, really. And, uh, and he's been looking like a shell of himself. He didn't make the... Um, uh, was it the 100 meter final that he didn't make, or was it the 200 meter? I can't remember which one it was, but I remember he didn't make, he didn't make them, and uh, and I expected him to be there. But uh, it's crazy, man, how that ended up being what it did. Uh, so that's definitely something that I didn't anticipate happening, but it did. So it's unfortunate. Now we had Team Canada going ahead and get that upset over the United States. Um, they had a, a score of 37.48. United States had a score of 37.55. It was a season best for the relay team. It had, how about this, Great Britain finished in uh, bronze medal position with a 37.83. So they came in third, beat the Jamaican team. The Jamaican team with Oblique Seville and Johan Blake and, and Akeem Blake and Jelani Walker did not get into the top three, did not get on the podium. So that was probably a surprise for some people. So... Um, for me, I, I thought Great Britain could get in there, so I said, you know, it all really comes down to if there's a. Th that's why I always look for sleepers in these races because you expect like one, two to be in there, and then it's like who's going to be on third, who who's going to be in third, and so I don't think many people pick Canada to, to be on the podium at all. But one guy that's been having a really good season has been Aaron Brown. Aaron Brown has just really really had a good season. I thought he really did good on his leg. Um, and for the U.S. boys, they had a bad exchange. Obviously, uh, Elijah Hall was the one that kind of struggled here uh, with his with his anchor. Christian Coleman didn't have a fast time at all, um, and, and that's what kind of cost him too. Uh, I thought Brendan Rodney might have been the one who really, uh, you know, really changed the game. He really changed the game. Um, and Dan DeGrasse just, just ate it up with an 8.79 split. Over Marvin Brace, he split up an 8.95. I, I really thought the lineup was kind of messed up on the U.S. side. I thought that Lyle should be should have been finishing um, against the Grass. I think you needed that, and I and I hope in the future for the U.S. side that they put Aaron Knight in these events. They need him in these events. They need Aaron Knight because uh, obviously the United States were hurt because Fred Curley was hurt too. But uh, no excuse. They got to do better than this. And uh, Canada just really bought it tonight. Uh, I'm happy for him. Be, me being a Canadian uh, track fan as well, um, I'm happy, bro. I'm, I was actually this was actually one of those few times where I didn't feel like a loser because I would have felt like a loser tonight had this had, had this been a different country uh, that upset the United States. So the um, fact that it was Canada, and a lot of people were happy for Canada tonight. I noticed, so it was pretty good stuff, man. But uh, go on ahead and uh, hit that like button for me, y'all. Definitely hit the like button on y'all way out of here. Share the video, subscribe to the channel. Any comments y'all got, definitely put them below. And I just want to thank everybody for watching. If you would be so kind, you can send a donation to the channel by hitting the super thanks button below. Thank you guys for watching. After news delight.